welcome back to the channel a jaden chase and if you're new remember to like to share and also to subscribe now with law enforcement closely guarding the information surrounding the death of the deputy commissioner of corrections reverend orville moore vice notes have started to circulate social media from individuals within the correctional system stating that there's something taking place unknown to most jamaicans something taking place with certain waters at correctional facilities individuals who seem to be beloved by both inmates and other correctional staff. I am going to hear one and they will continue the reasoning. Look and listen. Yeah, man. What really astounds me is the lack of reform. And these people are getting grant and stipend. When Mr. Kady Knight was the security minister and Mr. Prescott was the commissioner, they never have no resources. Them dip in them pocket along with Louise, R.I.P. Miss Louise, along with Louise Fraser. And them dip in them pocket. And when them buy cedar, them buy all pine board, the cedar, all this thing. When you're looking at the prison, you say, be a divan, be a whatnot, be a dinner table. You to grill and make jerk pan and them thing, them thing, they're not going again. Them cut out the whole of them thing there. From Mr. Phillips and Mr. Reese take over the prison, everything locked down. And from that, the prison started to grow. Now I just annihilation. Prison mashup, prison at on shit house. Prison at on shit house. So all I know you talk the way of fire gun, a mess on our run come in a mess. I'm glad I know in a big prison because they take me out of the prison to my like to the truth when I do right now. Because I emphasis on this every minute. Water must get better up here. We need reform. You can't have a maximum security prison, you don't have any reform. The only commissioner that when I say, did believe in a reform, Miss Geneve Bent. Miss Geneve Bent, big up yourself anyway, you're there. And you know why Miss Geneve Bent have to leave? They don't want to give her the resources to help prisoner be a better person. Because them then know when prisoner be a better person, our society them are help. But true prisoner is a business, everybody make money off a prisoner. So them don't want to reform. So you people out of society don't know what go on. So instead of talking about bigger sentence, what about reform? The most dangerous man, the man, the man, the man get between 6 months to 15 years, you know, because they've been groomed to turn a killer. And when them turn a killer, it's me I'm in a society. So I ask society, who no want? This video is for who no people in society, who no want? Reform needed more than 15 years, you know, have no reform program in the prison. I two super alone believe in a reform in the whole prison. Mr. Leslie Campbell and Mr. Bolby Clark. And any prison them go if them go GP and them work with the welding shop and the furniture shop, they move them. Because Miss Stone no want a reform in the prison. You know why? They came to us as inmate, call a Golata and them friend. Say the European Union people them have them grant for help prisoner, help reform. But them want homosexual and big man mixed together. And we burn it out so that can't go on. And so we burn it out, you know what happened. You know what happened to we burn it out. No reform. Them do them thing, nobody in no business with homosexual. Homosexual are go about them merry ways, nobody in no business with them. So I see the, the reason for them to try to force homosexuality upon us. You understand? I don't know how Miss June Jarrett lose her job and Miss Stone still have her job. And Miss June Jarrett was a woman where every December correctional officer get 30 or 40 grand in them pocket for nice up themselves because she know the stress where them go through when it comes to financial problem. You understand? So she try to ease the stress off of them. Miss Stone, she just a dig. She just a dig. One time the talk shop used to buy eyeglass and medication. No, <laughs> you don't know where the talk shop I go. Anyway, it's going in Miss Stone pocket. Miss Stone are the inferior to the commissioner, and the commissioner can no commissioner cannot talk to her. As she around the prison, she said no guy, no no boy can tell her what to do in her prison. So I want to ask, bro, God, oh Miss Stone still have a job when I breed, she breed criminal up on society. Eight, see there, them take the the former for the house stock. Now they sell them a flood, 
And when it's sunny, no water can stay up here, water dizzy, water faint, yet still water have work for stipend under these conditions. And I know many hear nobody say, yo, we have a race correctional officer up here, we have a motivate correctional officer, so them can help these youth. It's just a eat a food thing. Everybody come and eat a food. A friend thing I go on a prison. Miss Jenny bent a cut. And the thing about it, Miss Jenny bent stay almost one year and she left a legacy. And then Jackson Miller, I beg you, ask the three previous commissioners where them come see and where them left and ask the deputy commissioner, Miss Stone, what she have done for correctional service. You understand? Yeah, more you do that for me, please. Because Jamaica need help. We I heard bro God say he don't want to create a brutal society. But the minute you have any reform in the prison, a brutal society already been created. So more and more Jamaica have to reach 88 for them realize say, we in a brutal state. Eh? The next segment I come up. Now to be told, there are different views on these sentiments being shared by inmates. While some are stating that a prison is a place for reform where an individual convicted for certain crimes obviously not too serious because certain crime too serious to be a life sentence even though individuals will tell you that they know of individuals who have done serious crime and have done time and have already been released and some of them are still even committing crimes today but the meaning of a prison is to either host extremely violent criminals or to reform individuals who have been caught up in a life of crime. Now, some individuals are saying individuals within the correctional system who are pushing for reform, who are trying to create ways to reform and rehabilitate these individuals, are the individuals that are either sent somewhere else or the facility decides that certain programs will no longer be a part of the rehabilitation program. That's why some people are saying this indeed is something that should be looked into. Some are also stating that prisons are a place where after doing certain crimes, individuals are placed there and the conditions are set in a certain way to remind individuals that if they commit crimes, this is a place where they will be housed for a certain time if not, and depending upon the type of crime, you might be there for a life sentence. So they are saying it's not supposed to be a place of luxury. But these inmates are saying that some conditions are just simply inhumane. There's always been talked about that. Third world correctional facilities are way different from first world correctional facilities. And keep in mind, some of these first world correctional facilities house extremely violent individuals sometimes individuals who lead criminal syndicates but the conditions are different now some are saying was the deputy commissioner called to a secret meeting his wife's statement is that she's waiting for the truth from law enforcement law enforcement to date has still not revealed much about what took place now his body was recovered and his vehicle was also recovered. So maybe law enforcement is waiting on a autopsy. But they have still not stated if they suspect foul play. Now this has also led to people wondering if Spur Tree Hill is a safe roadway to be used by commuters. Some have always stated that it is almost as if you have to remember the corners when you are driving on the roadway. Now, by all statements from his family members and people who know him, Reverend Alvin Moore, the Deputy Correctional Commissioner, or Commissioner of Corrections, was not an individual known for speeding. And anybody where a drive spur tree knows it's not a place for speeding. And for the first year I drive upon the roadway, but you realize how the car and them stay, you start realizing, no, you have to drive at a moderate speed so you can control the vehicle and negotiate these turns. Now at the time of his passing, the deputy was also the acting pastor. He was a reverend and was the acting pastor at the time. And by all statements from people who knew him, as I say, he was an individual 
beloved by co-workers and also an individual beloved by inmates as well of course condolences to the family the wife says she is waiting on the truth to be told to her by law enforcement basically stating that just as how the media has been notified or given any update on the investigation the family has not been given any information that the media isn't privy to they have been privileged to the same information law enforcement is still looking into the situation and of course when the situation is being looked into investigated them now go just a give out inf information but some people are saying if it was just an accident the media say it was an accident now if you're new to the channel as a pass through click the subscribe icon then the bell icon and of course put it on all and this is how you know you'll be notified of all fresh content as soon as fresh content is uploaded and made available for you right here on the platform the like icon is also in close proximity to the share icon drop a like and bust a share tell a friend tell a friend tell them sister and them brother them for check out the channel check out the reason and also join the discussion via the comment section just be respectful and mindful of the guidelines but other than that drop your thoughts your comments and yes your opinions there and we can continue the reason via the comment section until the reason again my sentiments for you and yours is of course for to live love and prosper and for to stay tuned